Hey, hi, how are you? Hello, I am fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm also good. Thank you. So I got your profile for evaluation and I'm going to evaluate you based on your coding skill, especially on Java 8. Okay, so I'm going to ask you two programs and you have to write the code for it. Before that, can you tell me your technical skill set, the number of years of experience you have and the Java JDK version which you are using in your project? Yeah, so I have uh, two years, three months of experience working in IT industry. And uh, uh, the, from technical perspective, I've worked on uh, Java and related technologies. Uh, in Java, I'm using Java 8, uh, then I'm using uh, Spring, Spring Boot, or uh, microservices, and MySQL as the database. And the version of Java that we are using in uh, our project is, uh, is Java 8. So that's my uh, background. I have a problem statement in the chat box. Can you copy it in Notepad and share the screen? Okay, so let me. All right, so this is the problem statement that I see. Mm, yes, so you can see uh, I have provided an array. Okay, and that array contains few words, and you have to identify all the words that starts and end with same character. So you can see the input that is an array and that array contains few words and the output should be those words which are starting with and ending with same character like A, B, A. Here A, A is start and end character. X, Y, X. X and X, both are start and y character, uh, end character. P, O, P. So here P is starting and ending character. So we have to write a program and make sure you are going to use Java 8 to write this code. All right. Okay. So I got the problem statement. Uh, let me try to write the code. I'm going to copy this uh, input so that I can use the same input for performing the operation. And let me go and first thing I'm going to do is create a uh, class. So this is going to be interview program one and uh, after that i'm going to add main method to this all right so i've created a class i have added a main method and after this i'm going to copy the input so this is my input and i have to use java 8 to identify the words which start and end with the same character for example this word aba starts with a ends with a uh, similarly, x, y, x starts with x and ends with x. So I need to identify uh, only these words from uh, from the uh, list. So let me create a list. I'm going to use a list of string. And I'm going to call this as uh, strings. And to create the array, I'm going to use list, And I'm going to copy... Uh, the input that is given by you so that uh, we have the same input as given in the in the chat box so let me remove this now okay so this is the input uh, which we want to filter and identify the words so i'm going to use strings and then i'm going to extract a stream out of it and after extracting stream i'm going to filter all right so this uh, filter accepts a predicate predicate is a condition on which you want to filter your uh, input stream. So the first condition I'm going to evaluate is uh, I'm going to call each element as X and I'm going to check whether X dot length is greater than zero. This means your string has at least one character and it's not empty. So that is the first condition I'm going to evaluate. Uh, the second condition is I'm going to check what is the character at A and if the string starts with character at A. Okay, so let's see x dot. Uh, in fact, even uh, testing starts with this. Uh, I can skip this step because every string starts with uh, the character at zero. So I'm going to just check if the string ends with the same character. So let me uh, do that. So x dot ends ends with and I'm going to see if it ends with the character at zeroth position. So to get the character at zeroth position, I'm going to do x dot character at zero. So this will give me the character at zeroth position and I'm just checking if that string is ending with that character. 
okay now uh, by default ends with accept a string and this gives the character so i need to convert a string dot value of and i'm going to pass uh, okay so my predicate is complete uh, now and i'm going to use dot for each and i'm going to print each system dot out and i'm going to use method reference for calling the method which is print ln okay so now uh, this will give me all the expected results so let's see if it gives the expected results you can see it gives me aba uh, xyx and pop so we are not checking if the uh, string starts with the same character because we already know uh, the character at zero is the start of the string so we are just checking if the character that is present at the zeroth position if the string ends with that character so if it is then uh, we we filter it out so this is how we can achieve uh, this yes perfect that is working as expected uh, can you share your screen again i have provided another problem statement with you just copy it in notepad okay so i am sharing the screen and yeah so this is the this is the uh, snapshot from the chat now okay so here you can see i have another array which contains zeros and ones okay and you have to count number of ones which are available into that array and number of zeros into that array and print the count again you have to use a jdk8 features only can you do it uh, yes i can do it so let me copy the input array uh, this is very important okay so here in this case i have list of numbers uh, so, uh, let me copy the list of number which is which is a combination of 0 and 1 and i need to count the number of ones and the number of uh, zeros all right so to achieve this uh, i'm going to use same i'm going to create a, a list and this time the list is going to be of integer uh, because we know 0 and 1 are integer and i'm going to call it as numbers and after this i'm going to use arrays uh, dot as list so this will give me a list and i'm going to paste the input that you gave me so it has uh, one two three four five and six six ones and one two three four and five five zeros so i need to count the number of ones and zeros from this uh, list so let me let me try to use java 8 to uh, count this so i'm going to use numbers and after numbers i'm going to uh, get the stream out of it and there is a function uh, which can uh, do this so i'm going to find the sum of all uh, the elements from the list so the sum will give me uh, the number of ones because we know our list has only zeros and ones so let's try to find the sum uh, to find the sum we can use something called as reduce so reduce will uh, help us find the sum so reduce uh, reduce takes uh, the initial value of the sum which we want as zero and it also takes operation that we want to perform on uh, each element. So operation that we perform, want to perform is integer and sum. <clears throat> so we want to perform a sum on each element. So this is known as accumulator function. So the accumulator function that we are giving is sum in our case. And this, this returns uh, integer, which is uh, the sum of the array. Uh, sum will be this. So we know if we perform the sum, uh, then it will give us the count of number of ones. So let me print since out uh, number of ones are, and this is going to be your sum. And uh, the number of zeros will be a length of array minus number of ones. So uh, let me do this out and numbers, number of zeros are and this is going to be um, your length of array numbers dot length so numbers dot size we call it size in a list uh, minus uh, the sum all right so this will give me the number of zeros okay so just to uh, explain what i did i just found the count of uh, this array this count will give me the number of ones 
And once I get the count of one, I take the length of array and subtract the number of ones, which gives me number of zeros. So let me uh, try to run this. Uh, number of ones are six and numbers of number of zeros are uh, five. So this is how I can, I could achieve this. Okay, uh, it's giving me the expected output. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.